Welcome to TNT Home Setting. Join us as we spend our first full year here on our 10 acre off grid homestead. Hey y'all, welcome to TNT Home Setting. This is Terry. Uh, yesterday I recorded a video and when I went to edit it, there was so much squelching in the background, um, it was unbearable. So um, I've yanked the, the audio out of that so you won't have to hear that. And um, let me tell you a little bit about what I was talking about. So like many people that have wood stoves, uh, we got one of those fans that you put on the top to help um, move the air around. Well, that one there that's not working, that was the one we bought initially. And it works just fine when the wind, when the heat is really up high. Um, but on this one, which is brand new, it's spinning great as the fan, as the fire starting to burn down. And I bought this one. Uh, it's actually a lot cheaper uh, for a different project, but had it in here, and I noticed it works really well even when there's not much uh, fire in the stove. But that initial one is not working. Um, so I think the plan is to uh, take it apart and put some um, what's that stuff called? Uh, thermal compound on the heat sink to help with that so we can uh, see about getting that fan going again. So we're going to have to take those two screws out right there um, to take the top off and that will allow me to get to the heat sink there between the two pieces. Um, I'll have to clean off the old thermal paste that's there and put new on there. Um, some videos I've seen online make it sound like that's about all there is to it. Alright, well because of work I didn't get a chance to get back over here and do this earlier. So all I need to do right now is to get those two uh, screws out. And I've got the tool to do it. So let me get those worked out. I did have to go find the right Allen screw though. I have a nice screwdriver with bits I can take out but I couldn't get in at the angle I needed which was very frustrating because I love the ratchet screwdriver. So I turned it around to do the front one and it was loose. So there's always a chance that might have been causing some problem. It's almost out. There we go. That screw's a little rusted actually. Not bad, just a little bit. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean up this plate clean this up and then clean the bottom up then put on the thermal paste and put it all back together this particular thermal paste came with some wipes for cleaning All right, now that I got that done, I'll take the thermal paste, put it on the top and the bottom, I want full coverage on this thing, which is really good there. This is thicker than some of the others I've used. I probably didn't need to go ahead and put it on here, but I did. All right. Now I'll just place this back up here. Like so. Place this back on top. And then line up the screws and screw them back together. And it's back together. So the real trick will be, does it still work? And it'll take it just a second for it to warm up and start spinning. So, <laughs> and there we go. It started spinning up. Um, I was starting to wonder if I broke it. I shouldn't have, but you know, there's always a chance I can break something. But I got both of those fans going. I'd like to actually find something. I got to see. I know I don't have one. I need to see how much they cost because I may get one. Uh, one of those little tools to see how much uh, airflow those are putting out. Because 
Um, this one was over a hundred dollars. This one was like $35. And if the $35 one puts out as much air as the hundred dollar one, I don't see a point in spending a hundred dollars. Um, I got this other one first when I bought it, there wasn't that many options. Um, so when we bought this new one, I bought one just like the expensive one for the other building for the bedroom because we really liked it. It worked really well. I was not expecting this small black one to work as well. Um, where I had it, I figured it'd get to a certain temperature it'd work and then it'd die down. Um, but it's working great. So I am curious about the uh, air output. Now that the stove is cooling down, um, it apparently did not fix my problem. You can see it back there in the back corner not moving. Uh, the one from the other cabin's going great and uh, the black one is going great. So, well, I don't know what the problem is, but I guess I'll end up having to do some more research. Anyway, y'all, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.